As the war drags on, Russia's losses continue to increase. Now reaching over 10,000 lost equipment, the number is really staggering. Of these, just under 2,000 tanks has been lost. Most of these are version of the T-72 tank, which makes up most of Russia's tank force. But also old T-62 tanks, a bit newer T-80 and Russia's newest T-90 tank are in between the losses. The T-90 has been around for almost 30 years now, while the first version started production in 92. The T-90A was introduced in 2004 and the latest T-90M in 2017, with deliveries starting in 2019 and 2020. Russia didn't lose many of the newest version in the beginning of the war, with around 20 T-90A losses after several months only one lost T-90M occurred. This is however most likely due to the limited deployment as Russia had plenty of T-72 and T-80 to use and lose in battle. But as the losses of tanks rose over 1000 and winter was coming, Russia needed to start using more of their T-90 tanks. With this, increased losses and especially with the T-90M tank occurred. Now Russia has around 60 T-90 losses, where 20 is the T-90M tank. But as the conflict drags on, is Russia running out of their most modern T-90M tank? Russia is really relying on the Soviet Union stock to continue the fighting. This was really massive, containing tens of thousands of tanks. But as many were scrapped, decommissioned or too poorly maintained, to be brought into battle as the year passed by. Russia has had to rely more and more of their own produced tanks. Currently only producing the T-72 B3 and the T-90M tank with several programs to upgrade tanks as well. While Russia is trying to ramp up production, they face several hurdles, mostly sanctions limiting the number of components and equipment they can purchase. This is resulting in some deviation in upgrades and production lines. Russia had previously before the war produced around 1000 tanks of the T-90 model, with India producing around the same number to themselves under a license. Around 400 tanks out of the 1000 has been sold, with over 300 being the T-90A version Russia has in stocks, and 200 being the T-90S which is the export version, whereas around 100 is the T-90M, as Russia has lost 20 out of these 100. They would have around 80 left, however, as the T-90M is one of the tanks versions still being produced, it seems Russia has gotten 4 rounds of tank deliveries of these happening in May, August and December of 2022, and one in January of 2023. The batches of tanks doesn't look huge, around 10 to 15 tanks each time, while Russia claimed themselves delivering over 200 T-90M tanks since the war started. The lack of evidence makes these statements questionable at best. Russia is however upgrading some T-90 A to T-90M tanks. Given this with production, Russia has actually gotten more T-90M tanks in their inventory going from around 100 tanks to 125 to 150 tanks. However, as Russia is needing to deploy more T-90M tanks as other tank losses are adding up, the frequency of T-90M losses will increase. While Russia seems to be able to produce them quicker now than they're being destroyed at the moment, this will most likely start reversing as other inventory is starting to run dry, as Russia is losing tanks a lot faster than they can produce them. Currently the losses is over 7 times the capacity Russia can produce them, giving them around 2 years before completely running out of tanks. That's all I had for this video, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, bye.